Hey guys, it's Chuck. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different for a little bit. Uh, as some of you know, if you're gamers, uh, Bethesda announced the release, or the, at least the release date for Fallout 4. And Fallout 3, its predecessor, was one of my favorite games, so I thought I'd do a little bit of uh, gameplay footage of Fallout 3, kind of celebrate and go up to the release of Fallout 4 this fall. So. Uh, I kind of skipped over the beginning parts of the game as they're a little slow and it's basically just character creation and setup stuff. So uh, you've just now joined me as I've exited the vault and I am now in the wasteland. I have the 10 millimeter pistol here that I retrieved from the guards in the vault. So I'm going to start exploring the wastelands. So it's been a long enough since I've played this that some of this I think is going to end up being new to me again um you know there is a lot of it that i do remember um you know how to use a lot of the stuff uh you know that i'm going towards so um i am playing with all this is the game of the year edition so i am playing with all the expansions the pit and mothership zeta and all of that so it should be interesting there's a lot of that that i didn't get to in my original playthrough years ago so it'll be fun to see what I explore and what I find this time through. I think on the original Xbox 360 version, I logged over 100 hours. So I should be able to, uh, I think, easily beat that amount of play time with this, with all the expansions in the Game of, Year, Game of the Year edition. So uh, right now I am heading towards Megaton, which is the first city that you get to once you come out of the vault. It's the first thing that pops up on your Pip-Boy, which is the little guy here that's basically your your HUD and your user interface that you see so you can track where you're going through all this through the world so I'm just going to head to Megaton so that way I can start uh, start exploring and getting through the world here As you can see it's very bleak uh, it's a post-apocalyptic world after a uh, a nuclear war everybody was locked in vaults underground and while well, a lot of people or there were rumors that people escaped and got out of the vaults beforehand. The vault that you escaped from uh, has never had anybody open, or has never had anybody leave, so it's a new experience. So let's uh, go to this guy here, Deputy Weld. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Need some grub? Try the brass lantern. And there's my guy from the outside. Welcome to Megaton. Please stand clear of the gate. So now I am going to enter Megaton and see what I can find in here. I'll be another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Which this always kind of cracked me up. You know, some weird stranger shows up in your town you've never seen before. He's in full riot gear and, you know, had a pistol out and you're apparently okay to him. So I guess I don't look as crazy as some of the other people that have come through Megaton. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. So that's part of what you missed in the opening, is your father escaped from the vault, so the basic... Uh, idea of the core mission is to go through the world and find your father to find out why he left um, because he didn't tell you anything as you're growing up just one day uh, a friend of yours wakes you up and and says that he's gone and that her father has lost his mind so you escape rather quickly but you're trying to figure out uh, you know where your father has been sure thing partner what do you need to find you'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. 
Her place is down by the crater. And what I remember from Moira is she also does research, so... Sure thing. What's on your mind? So I know you can actually, if I remember correctly, I know you can get some missions from her to gain XP and level up. Mind your manners now. So now we will look at our local map. And we'll just explore a little bit. He said she's down by the crater, so I know there's usually... I don't remember what the button huh? is to holster my weapon. I know I can unarm myself, but I don't necessarily remember what it is to holster. But nobody seems to have an issue, so we'll, uh, let's see. Saloon supplies. Supplies are that way. I remember playing this the first time. I used to get so lost in Megaton, so we'll see if... Hopefully that won't be the case with this playthrough. Hopefully I should be able to, uh, uh, oh, there she is. So hopefully I should be able to have a little bit easier time, uh, navigating. And uh, there's a mercenary. I don't want to talk to the mercenary quite yet. Ah, there's Moira, so we can talk to Moira. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Which is hysterical. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, sure, why great. not? Great. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Oh, we'll play the... A the runaway nice thing. dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Oh, yeah, it's the post-apocalyptic world. I'm sure it'll be just balls of fun. It's also interesting her accent and where she possibly came from, considering this game is set in and around Washington, D.C., so she's got kind of a northern, midwest kind of thing going on, so it's interesting to, to listen to Moira and try to figure out where she's, where she's from. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test... No, then they just... Good enthusiasm. Things like where it is and. Ooh. Well, that's what I need your help. So I need you. Yeah, so she, basically she wants me to get irradiated. That'd be awesome. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sick. Just make sure you can get back. Yeah, so we'll, uh. We'll just get sick and, uh, and go from there. Good luck with the Yeah, thanks. Now can I actually, oh, uh... feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> uh... And let's see. We're gonna what do you need? We're going to some stuff. That's what I really enjoy Moira for, is so I can kind of unload some of the stuff. Uh... uh sell the baseball the other interesting thing about this game is that uh, your um, your currency or bottle caps which is kind of an interesting uh, thing to go with but let's see uh, I'll sell all of those Fifteen. Oh, that's a twelve. And that's an eight. So we will sell that. No. And oh, accept. So now I have basically all of her caps. Good hunting. 
And I may have just screwed myself on that, not looking at how much she actually has, but oh well, we'll see how that goes. And we will go through and put on my gear. And I think as before we go out to get irradiated, that'll uh, we'll stop this episode of my playthrough of Fallout 3, and I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye.